Well, uh, Kombawa, good <coughs> afternoon to you all. Uh, so, I guess I'm feeling a lot of uh, better now. Not completely ill, but better. Mm. Two, three straight days in bed, well, uh, kinda helped it. In any case, I came with the review for Data Live episode 8 and this episode starts well, roughly where the last one ended with um, Shido after Shido uh, see the images of what happened with Kurumi uh, and Mana um, his uh, adopted sister Kotoa and the other girl that works as a nurse medic, Raina, I think. They kind of talked with Shido for him to kind of ask Takumi on a date uh, with the goal obviously to seal her powers away because uh, by this time Origami will most likely has already informed the AST about the spirit and that Kurumi is still alive uh, and they, they, the group of Kotoa kind of wants to speed things up with Kurumi so Shido goes ask her in a date right at the start of the episode she accepts then we see origami appearing from behind and she is kind of wants to know what he is planning and so on but he does not reveal it and then we go to the start of the episode and we have token um, that is said on the school class room and the three girls that are are always appearing in one of the episodes uh, they always appear even if for a little while they kind of appear and they kind of see Toka that Toka is sad uh, looking to um, a bento lunchbox and she is kind of sad because I think she was expecting Shido to share the meal with her but he did not appear because he was asking Kurumi out and so on and then he kind of need to flee from Origami in a way and then they they, they kind of give an advice to Toka and then Toka goes to, <coughs> to Shido's house <coughs> and she kind of closes the door, closes the curtains and so on and then kind of makes a seductive pose and so on well, just for convince him to take her on a date and he kind of agrees to take her, her on a date and then uh, later on after this he kind of receives a call of origami that are also asking him for a date uh, and uh, he kind of is unable to refuse because she hangs on shortly after and then on the other on the day of the date we see that um, Shido kind of goes out initially with Toka uh, and they go to an aquarium see fish and so on um, then he kind of finds uh, uh, that he needs to go to the toilet and uh, yeah I know what toilet means uh, and it's right written in katakana um, then he kind of goes to he is uh, transported to the place where Kurumi is waiting him and then we have all the counselors and the headquarters of Kotoa deciding what he should uh, invite Kurumi to do and then they kind of decided that uh, 
go to a lingerie shop and they go to a lingerie shop um, and when they are at it who and after who he kind of chooses a very daring lingerie uh, to Kurumi and then she uses it and shows it to him and then the, the three girls that appeared and have advice talker to kind of ask Shido out they also appear on the lingerie shop and then Shido uh, flees uh, and because he is late and then he goes need to he goes to meet uh, Origami and he also finds uh, that, uh, that he needs to go to the toy and he says to Kurumi that the lingerie looks great on her and so on before he goes and then he goes meet Origami and they kind of start their own date uh, and she already decided that they will go watching a movie but before they will be going eating something but at the same time the group of Kotoa is kind of surveilling the, the places where the three girls are and they kind of see that Toka is kind of sad because she left her in the aquarium and so on and then we see that Toka leaves the aquarium and Shido again before our game needs to find that he needs to go to the toilet and then he goes meeting Toka and then he kind of takes Toka to a place to eat because she is angry and then he, he kind of jumps again and then he needs to go to Kurumi uh, to the the door of the lingerie and uh, they kind of go to a park for a while like taking a walk then mm, origami he kind of is forced to return to origami yes he kind he kind of is forced to return to to origami because the three girls that advise talk are kind of following him but on the meantime the yoshino kind of decides to help him out and kind of she is blocking the three girls to found him and that was the reason why um shido ends up in a garden with kurumi because they kind of he used yoshino kind of dragging down the three girls that were pursuing him he kind of decides to flee to the garden and then he needs to go and he leaves Kurumi alone um, and then we see Toka and Origami they kind of meet each other uh, and both say that are they are on a date with Shido um, because at this time Shido was returning to the garden but at the same time Kurumi kinda after hear a group of guys kinda bowling a kid a small kitten and kinda hurting so on she kind of enters in his spirit mode form and I guess sh they are six guys but when Shido appears there will there was only one guy left uh, and we have blood splatters all, all all over the place so basically she killed them uh, and then where when he Shido is came to the arrives at the place uh, she kind of we see her with again and she literally kills the other guy punching him full of holes bullet holes uh, and then she though is kind of disgusted and sick and he, he tries to flee but uh, uh, Kurumi kind of uses their strange power with the hands and the arms and so on and kind of grabs Shido and eventually he eventually 
ends up being saved by mana that at, arrives at the place and kind of cuts the, the arms uh, that Kurami kind of lunch at Shido. So this is a very dynamic episode in a way. It's very funny to see Shido going from one place to another place trying to make the three girls happy at the same time, in a way. Uh, and we have more... Uh, c some character development in terms of Kurumi. Uh, because after this episode, this kind of appears to me that... Yes, she is psychopathic, obviously. Uh, and we see that not not only because of Shido, because at the start of the episode Origami kind of remembers the, how their meeting ended and she is kind of harassing Origami and so on. So she, yes, she is psychopathic, she is uh, yeah, a sexual predator, yes, in a way. And he, she possesses serious screws however in this episode she also in a way shows that uh, she dislike persons that yet that abuse the weak uh, uh, because that was the stuff that happened with the little cat that was bullied by the six guys or she simply likes cats I don't know but something like that so yes she is psychopathic but uh, probably this psychosis eventually has an explanation i guess uh, and eventually we we'll, we we'll, we will learn about it on the future but this episode was pretty good was pretty intense uh, we have several comedy moments uh, and we have uh, more serious stuff with Kurami so this is what this was a good episode so this is my review for the Life episode 8 hope you enjoy stay well